A huge mosque is going to be built just two blocks away from Ground Zero, and the man behind the plans is an imam who is admitted to endorsing Sharia law. So should we be concerned? Well, right now we are joined by Frank Gaffney, the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense and President of the Center for Security Policy. He joins us from our nation's capital. Good morning to you, Frank. Good morning. Okay, so there, this imam wants to build a great big mosque two, uh, two blocks, within two blocks of where close to 3,000 Americans were slaughtered on 9-11. Why do you have a problem with that? This is not an expression of uh, religious tolerance or uh, community building in any sense that Americans would understand. The problem is this is explicitly intended to be um, a manifestation of the supremacist program that, as you mentioned, is known by the authorities of Islam, not radical extremists, but mm -hmm. the authorities of Islam as Sharia. And its purpose is very clear. It seeks to dominate everyone, Muslim and non-Muslim alike, and putting this mosque, 13 stories worth of it, in, well, what I call spitting distance of ground zero, and I use that term advisedly, I think is a very prime example of this supremacist program, the domination that it is uh, promoting, and why it is totally unacceptable, I think, not just to the people of New York, but mm -hmm. I think to all Americans. Well, there, there are some outraged 9-11 families who say, we can't believe they're going to let them do that so close in this for what was once the Burlington Coat Factory down there until September 11th when a part of the landing gear went through the roof there. There's the outraged families just saying, we cannot believe they are trying to, in their words, rewrite history. Yeah. It's partly about rewriting history. It's partly about establishing that the way of the future is Sharia is Islam. Mm -hmm. And I think that what we want to make sure is true is that the way of the future is the Constitution of the United States, the American tolerant program, right. yes, but not one that tolerates seditious activities like those that are commanded right. by Sharia, not just voluntary, it's commanded by Sharia. Well, Stealth you know, jihad, violent jihad, coming together at ground zero sure. would be an abomination. Okay, well that's just there. You say that 80% of the mosques in the United States, 80% preach Sharia law, teach Sharia law. Yeah, this is the important point. Not all Muslims adhere to Sharia, thank God. And most in America, don't want to live under it. They came here in many cases to get away from it. The problem is that the Saudis particularly and others with a lot of our petrodollars have been promoting Sharia, mm -hmm. particularly through American mosques. By some estimates, it's as high as 80 percent. Whatever it is, it's a virulent cancer within our midst because okay. it is seeking this domination, this supremacy, mm -hmm. replacing our constitution with a law that uh, is repressive right. and totalitarian. We mustn't have it, not at ground zero and frankly not anywhere else in All America. Right. Keeping America Sharia free, I think, is our goal. All right. Frank Gaffney, we thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you.